In today's video, we have different tutorials from around the community. This week, we have tutorials about modeling, texturing, art tips, geometry nodes, and much more. Before we do that, if you are an aspiring 3D artist and you want to learn how to build a sci-fi mecha, then this course called Building a Sci-Fi Mecha with Blender and Unreal Engine 5 will be great for you. With 18 hours of content, you'll be able to learn throughout this course the basic material and lighting workflow of Unreal Engine 5. In addition to working with multiple 3D software, such as 3D Code, Blender, and Substance Painter, as well as learning how to assemble the mecha from scratch, and of course, finishing the whole scene in Unreal Engine 5. And with your instructor Pidan, an experienced 3D artist, you can observe the entire procedure starting from the high poly modeling with 3D code and then assembling the mecha in Blender to putting everything together in Unreal Engine 5. So if this sounds interesting for you, you will find the necessary links in the description. So in no particular order, we're gonna kick off this list with a modeling slash particle system tutorial. This one is by Kaizen Tutorials. You will see how to make a fluffy plushie in 20 minutes. Throughout this tutorial, you will start by adding a reference image and then begin modeling the plushie by adding a round cube to create a head shape and then a basic cube to create 8 legs. Then you will move to shading and texturing process where he adds a basic plastic shader to both the eyes and the mouth and gives the body and legs a pinkish texture and uses texture painting to paint over the character. Finally, you will begin creating the hair particle system and tweaking the hair shader to have a final plushie look. The next one is by Ducky3D, and it discusses how to make your renders look more realistic by providing 10 tips for achieving photorealism. He begins with a lighting tip about how it is not necessary to highlight every aspect of your model. Then he walks you through other tips, such as switching your color management view from filmic to filmic log to give you more control when editing your render, and more tips that would help you become a better artist. Now, who said phones couldn't be transformed into robots? In this tutorial, Holy Fjord will show you how to transform a phone into a robot. It is a step-by-step -step real time guide. You go through all the steps of outlining your idea and modeling the phone itself. This project is inspired by a scene from the first Transformer movie, where the flip phone turns into an evil small Decepticon robot. The trick here isn't about the model, the phone, or the robot itself, but how to create that seamless transition from one to the other naturally. And of course, you will finish by setting up the scene, lighting, materials, and applying animation. Pull if your tutorials are always interesting, and this one is no different. Alright, who doesn't like blowing stuff up? Me personally, I do. Alban Thorburn, previously known as Granite Films on YouTube, uploaded a video tutorial on how to create and reuse realistic explosions in Blender. The idea revolves around creating the fire simulation, and you will do this once and rendering it multiple times from different angles as an image sequence. These image sequences are a lot less demanding than the actual fire and smoke simulations. And using the billboard technique, you can set the animated explosion images to face the camera all the time by manipulating the texture. And when the animation starts, you can get really convincing results with a fraction of the cost, especially in EV where you can basically get a real-time response. This can prove to be extremely helpful for people that might need a lot of explosions in their scenes. The next one is also from Albin. This one is a bit more ambitious and I think he was successful for the most part as he explains his process of remaking that one scene from Terminator 2 in Blender. This is not a super detailed tutorial on how to create each object in the scene, but the reason I like these workflow and how-to videos is that they give you a look at what creating something like this requires and the process behind it. Throughout the video, you will see multiple different techniques, tips and tricks to speed up your workflow and things that you might want to do differently. The whole animation took two days to create from start to finish, and I'd say the results were pretty good. We also have another tutorial from Ducky3D. This one demonstrates how to make a satisfying kinetic animation from start to finish. He will start first by modeling the entire scene, then he moves to the animation stage where you can add a curve to animate the balls and a rotation animation to make them spin around themselves. He will then finish of course by setting up some lighting and adding to spotlights. You will then complete the render setup and then go into cycles to do some rendering. Alright, next up we have this tutorial by Brad from Light Architect YouTube channel. This one is all about 
how to create a super detailed mountain ranges and terrain landscapes using displacement, in addition to height maps inside Blender. Not only that, but you will be learning how to use these maps to create some unique textures in the shader editor. This is such a simple yet super effective way to get your mountain or terrain modeling and sculpting going. Taking advantage of Blender's adaptive subdivision and micro displacement features, you can import any displacement or height texture map to use as a driver for your terrain topology through the shader editor. Not only that, but you can even stack multiple or hand paint some of them manually. We also have another one from Polyfjord. This one is about working with drivers in Blender. If you never used them before, don't worry about it. Drivers, in essence, are a way to control any object or property using mathematical functions or expressions. In this video, using the default cube, you will learn how to use these drivers to manipulate and bend the geometry using an empty object to control everything. This is really a simple yet informative video on what drivers are and how you can use them. Although in the end, all I could think of is I want more. Now, if you are into intricate satisfying and abstract art, then this one is definitely for you. Martin from Bad Normal's YouTube channel uploaded a video tutorial on how he created this library of 4D fractal assets in Blender called Fractal Machine. Fractals are in their simplest form without getting too much into the details. They are non-regular geometric shapes that have the same degree of non-regularity in all scales. Did you catch any of that? Exactly, me neither. But you can think of fractals as never-ending patterns. Most importantly, using these geometrical equations with the help of geometry nodes will yield outstanding results and infinite details. In this video, you will see what 4D Julia shapes are, how they differ from other sets, and how you can create them in Blender. Now we're gonna cover something a bit different, which is a hard surface modeling tutorial. So this one by Ponte Riori from Blender Bros will show you how to easily create an awesome hard surface model with the help of box cutter and a few simple tricks. You also apply materials and textures and at the end you will have a cool functional piece of machinery that you can add to your portfolio. On a side note, Blender Bros have a lot of good tutorials and courses if you wanna check them out. This one by MediaWay demonstrates how to generate money as a skilled Blender artist. He divided the video into 10 chapters. He began by looking for a client and contacting various render farms in order to create a 3D advertisement for them. Following that, he was accepted by one and immediately began working with the first one, finding ideas and drawing the storyboard. And after that, he began working on the project itself by first creating characters and assets. He then began the animation process, explained how to use a render farm, and began the editing process after rendering the video on it. Lastly, he finished by gathering client feedback and making final edits based on the client's feedback. Also, Polygon right away created this modeling tutorial where he shows us how to make stylized spooky house in Blender. He started with the modeling process, creating the base model of the house, he then proceeds to add some details on this model, such as a broken roof, before modeling the scene's exterior environment. He completed the scene by applying materials to this mesh, adding lights, and then rendering it. Now we're gonna cover something from Blender Guru, which shows us how to add a hologram effect to your Blender models. First, he added a few geometry nodes to a plane and began working. He then continued with his favorite model, of course it is a donut. Then, using geometry nodes and some texturing, he added a light effect to make it appear as if a hologram's light was coming from beneath, and he finished it by working on rendering with Eevee. If you think these tutorials are useful, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.